end of my free day. I knew I should have did it when there was nothing going on. I appreciate your guidance. It looks like I did it. Ah, huh, no big deal. I appreciate your guidance. That was challenging. Deepened my understanding. Oh, I thought I had it. I know. I agree. This could be useful. Professor, could you explain? Terrified the log to mention grants at night. Isn't it how dark and quiet a place gets? Is that really it? Yeah, give me my money. We can handle it. No problem at all. Oh, dragons. We did well enough. Got it. Good to go. It's all coming together. Day off Sunday.
Mama boy, you can do it. Good results. That bonus. I hate you. Let me learn, let me learn. <laughs> I'm a natural. You got thunder. Making me blush. I've learned a lot. This was a test. All right, that's enough praise. Wow, I seem to be on a roll. Let's do this thing. I am a little uneasy. <laughs> uneasy. It went well. There's so much left to learn. <laughs> I'm a natural. It all makes sense now. 
Good job, all of you. The glory of progress. I've got it. Okay, my crazy buffoons. No crab, no crab. your goals. <sighs> that's the third time this month. Well, that's that. Father never relents. Oh, Professor. Hello. Did you need something? What are you just doing just now? Well, um, that is... I was just tossing out something I have no need of. It's important to keep our spaces clean after all. You do well to remember that too, Professor. A clean space makes for a clean mind. Or getting rid of things you have no need for is the first step to managing one's belongings in an economical way. <laughs> you help me tidy my room sometime. <laughs> Certainly, I'd love to. Just say when, and I'll be there in an instant. Despite my family's nobility, we have never been particularly wealthy. So my father raised me to be conservative with my resources, paring down when necessary. He also encouraged me to keep my living spaces immaculate. So the two go hand in hand, I suppose. Yes, he's a good person. Even when managing our territory used up most of our family's resources, he still went out of his way to ensure my comfort. Oh, uh, just a scrap of paper. It was already written on, so no good for note taking. And obviously, I can't use it to clean my lance. So I tossed it. No need to hang on to inconsequential things, you know. Professor, did you come to check on me for any particular reason? I hope Sylvain and Felix aren't getting into trouble as they tend to do. I just wanted to talk to you. Oh, well, if there's nothing important, I'll be on my way then. I still have some cleaning to take care of, after all. Talk to you later, Professor. <laughs> Thank you. 
We can handle it. <laughs> I hope nothing goes wrong. Done. Each new experience is an asset. Well, that worked out. Yeah, Am I does. starting to master this? I'm really getting the hang of this. Explore. Castle Gaspar, eh? I've been there once before, many years ago. Really? It was by request of the son of that family. Kristoff, I think it was. I have a request. Father, what do you want me to do this time? Did you hear? There's news of someone in the kingdom raising an army. The kingdom, the empire, the alliance. They do love a good war, don't they? Spilling the blood of young men and women. And for what? Just to enjoy the horror of it? Would you be so kind as to do me a favor? Yay, I learn heal. I simply must thank you, Professor. Like money. Really? Yes, really. Professor, I heard that you may battle alongside Catherine. Even among the knights, she is something special. A holy knight who is able to wield a hero's relic. Still, she can be a mite difficult. Well... Like how... Lighthearted the music is. Hey. Could 
see. Thanks for your help. No pro armor bear stuff. Controller. Not yet, Papa. I need to go to the balloons aboard. Do one more quest and I'll get right back to you, okay? has so many breathtaking works of art. I feel like I'm living in a museum. Each piece can teach us about styles and techniques from a thousand years ago. I'm from a family of merchants, so I've been able to see a lot of art, but I won't pretend to be an expert. Pointing a sword at the Holy Church of Seros is akin to pointing a sword at the goddess herself. Well, Meeting out appropriate punishment to the sinful. It is a sacred duty with which we have been entrusted. As a member of the church yourself, I hope that you will take that to heart. I desired fresh air. Yeah, I know. True. I have a favor to ask. Your clothes are a bit dirty. I'd have expected you to be more careful, seeing as how you're a professor and all. I hate when my clothes get dirty. That's one of the many reasons I find it best to train as little as possible. Oh, I can get clothes just for training. to hire this you can rely on us do you want
want to hire this? We've got you covered. Thank you. Battalions from various territories gather at the guild. There are even some that aren't affiliated with the Church of Seros. As we are allowed to hire them, you should visit the guild soon and come to your own conclusions. As they fight, battalions will lose endurance. When that happens, you can replenish their endurance by visiting the battalion guild in the market. Oh, okay. Professor, nothing to report. Have you talked with Catherine yet? <laughs> if the knights are the cream of the crop, she's the cream of the cream. Oh, and that relic of hers. I hear it's nothing short of amazing. Professor. Oh, no. Since we're heading to Castle Gaspar, that means we'll be passing through Magdred Way. The road is well known for its beautiful surroundings. Depending on the time of year, it can be incredibly foggy, though. When it's like that, you can't enjoy the lovely scenery. Lucky for us, it shouldn't be too foggy while we're there. Not that we'll have time for sightseeing, anyway. Yeah, we're cool. Yeah. Professor, have you seen Felix around? I swear, as soon as you take your eyes off him, poof, he's gone. Ah, of course he's there. Sorry for bothering you, Professor. Thanks. Sir, I feel I must speak to you about Kaspar's eating habits. I've never seen the like of it. He inhales entire plates of food in mere seconds. If that is a polite way of calling him a goat, I'm inclined to agree. Today's meal was delicious. Linhart keeps bothering me about eating too fast. Says I'm gonna choke or something. Absolutely! I knew you'd see things my way. If you have a moment, I would like a word. It has been brought to my attention that certain individuals have been making advances toward flame. Have you witnessed any such behavior? If you see anything similar in the future, please inform the perpetrators of their peril. <laughs> oh, protected <protect the> brother! <laughs> oh, what did I say? It's overprotective brother. That green hair, that uh, one of the green hair guys. He has a sister with the same color hair. No. Hey, Professor, do you happen to have any food on you? I'm starving. No matter how much I eat before I train, I'm always so hungry after. My muscles must be going through a growth spurt. This 
flower is one that is eating insects. Is that factual too? I am wondering who watches over the plants in Fodland. Let's go eat Very some food. Good. Cause she's just sitting in her room like it's no tomorrow. Impressive. Catherine, hmm? Her skill is impressive, I'll admit. So is her sword. But I think she's hiding something. Nobody knows anything about her past. You should spar with her. She's strong. Stronger than you are, I bet. <sighs> Lord Monato must know that his efforts are futile. Yet he can't help but fight. If I were in that situation, I would do whatever it took to ensure victory. You can count on that. Something about this situation doesn't feel right. Why would a minor lord raise an army against a foe he cannot possibly hope to defeat? Here to train? You really are as hardworking as they say. Maybe the gossip's wrong. Hardworking people usually don't like to make a big fuss about it. Get all of them over the place. Oh my butt. <laughs> with the knights, right? I wonder if... Oh, sorry, it's nothing. I was just wondering if someone I've been searching for might be among them. Thank you. I'm definitely gonna find him one of these days. that noise to do well as you can see the pan kind of exploded just a little how did you manage that I looked away for a moment and the pan just went boom Ugh, I'm grateful nothing caught fire but now the kitchen is a mess are you hurt 
Oh, no, I just got a little spooked. <laughs> I really lucked out, didn't I? That could have turned out much worse. Indeed. But do not turn your back next time. Your life could depend on it. Right. Sorry. I'll be more careful from now on. Let me help you. Huh? I will help you clean up. No, I can't let you do that. This is all my fault. You shouldn't have to help me. I have time. Let us fix this quickly. We will need to prepare more food before the others arrive at the dining hall. Oh, you're right. So, after we clean up, you're also gonna help me cook? You object? Of course not. I'm just so sorry to bother you with this. Oh? Right. Hello, Felix. I see you're here to train as well. Go away. Just looking at your face makes me want to wretch. <laughs> With that mouth of yours, you grow more like your brother every day. Shut up. And stop walking around on your hind legs. You're not fooling me. I cannot fathom why you seem to hate me so. Because I know what you really are. A beast craving blood. A beast craving blood, am I? I assume you're speaking of the events two years ago, last time we met outside the Academy? I am. The way you suppressed that rebellion, it was ruthless slaughter, and you loved every second. I remember the way you killed your victims, how you watched them suffer, and your face, that expression, all the world's evil packed into it. That was our first battle. I remember it vividly. Oh, something wrong? Go ahead and deny it, you wild boar. I deny nothing, Felix. Well then, I suppose the Dimitri I once knew died during that slaughter in Dusker, along with my brother. Perhaps you're right. Hmm. Hurry up and get out of my sight. I don't make a habit of talking to beasts. Oh man, I hope they uh, are right. looking for <laughs> What's that going on with my stuff? My goodness, sword training again today? Don't overdo it, all right? I certainly won't, but thanks for your concern, Mercedes. It's more of a hobby than anything, so don't worry too much. A hobby? How wonderful! I would probably get tired of it, but that's just me. Hmm. Didn't you say you hope to take the sword test soon? You're right. I completely forgot that's coming up. What should I do? To be honest, I've been a bit worried as I haven't seen you at the training ground much. Why didn't you say something sooner if you were so worried about me? It didn't occur to me that you could have forgotten. But you're right. I should have mentioned it. As an apology, why don't you let me help you with your swordsmanship? You would do that for me? I'd really appreciate your help. Okay, but keep in mind that since we're short on time, we may have to overdo it a little. I don't like to overdo oh. it, but <laughs> if we must, what? I'll try my best. His voice changed. It's settled. Let's begin. Don't tell me you've forgotten how to hold a sword. We have our work cut out for us. I usually just hold the sword without thinking about my grip, you know? Let's see what happens now that you've shown me the proper way to handle it. <laughs> I was nervous at first, but just look at me now. Yeah! Oh. Well, I didn't realize offering to help you would mean risking my life. <laughs> Here go, Missy. Uh, I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened. I just meant to swing the sword. I didn't think it would go flying like that. I'm impressed with how quickly you can dodge. Yes. I know you didn't intend to murder me. Though that scare likely took years off my life. Maybe I'm not cut out for this whole sword fighting thing. Nonsense. 
It's far too early to give up. The first time I picked up a sword, I was much like you. It's true that different people are better suited to different things. But if you keep at it and refuse to give up, you're certain to improve. Do you really think so? Thank you, Dimitri. It's very kind of you to... Oh! There's a rip in your cuff, Dimitri. How do you think... <laughs> it seems I didn't dodge your sword fast enough. Don't worry, I can easily repair it. I'm the one who tore it, so I'll be the one who mends it. How does that sound? No, please, don't worry yourself over it. Just focus on your exam. What's going on with these damn controllers? Guys, we're gonna start right here, and next up, we're gonna talk to the rest of them and do the rest of the quests. I'll see you guys next time.